Hello and thank you for checking out the Snap to Grid program. After you've imported the package, you can go to Window here, and if you've got the standalone version, you can open it from here, and MeshMaker, you can come down to Snap to Grid. Once the program opens, you'll have this new interface here. And the first button here is to turn on and off the snapping to grid. And you can also lock the grid here, which I'll show in a second. So when it's turned on, as soon as you click on an object, it will snap to the grid. You can undo this with the Control Z, it'll go back to where it was. And when it's snapped, and you go to move it, and I'll just rotate this one into position, and then you can move it along the grid in the X, Y, and Z. And you can also change, at the moment it's uh, currently on the X, Z, which is the horizontal plane, You've got the vertical plane here, the, the XY plane. You can also change to the YZ plane here. And this just allows you to visually see where it's going to snap to. And if you want to see all three axes, you can click on the 3D grid here, and you'll see that there's the all three grids are showing up at once. When the uh, grid is locked, that's currently green, the corner of the grid will stay where it is and you can move the, the objects around. And when I click on unlock it will snap to that position and then I can relock it and continue working with this object. The program also works with um, both metric and imperial units. When it's set to metric the drop down box here for the preset values is all the metric values. When I change to Imperial, they'll change to feet and inches. And also when you're in rotation mode and you're in metric, it's in degrees. Change to Imperial, it's now in radians. So you've got that there. Scale is the same. It'll, it'll pick up the same as the translate values. You can also enter the rotation, translate, and scale values manually here if you wish. You can also choose which one of the axes that you want to enable. You can have them all turned on, or you can turn them on and off individually there. And so I'm just going to set that to 0.5. I'm going to scale this down back to the size it was. Change back to translate. And another feature for the program here is this dimensions box. And what you can do here is, whether you're in met metric or imperial, um, you can type in 1.5, and the grid will adjust. It's now stepping 1.5. And another good feature about this text box here is that if I put in 1 foot um, 3 inches and hit set or enter, it's now jumping to one foot and three inches. So you can get almost any custom dimension you wish. And uh, to speed things up a little bit more, you can also use these move buttons here. And that will move across the grid, depending on your, your values. Same with the, the Y and the Z values, the Y and Z axes. And another feature, I'll just rotate this box a bit like so. Another feature we have uh, is this terrain snapping. So if I click on follow terrain what it'll do is I'll find the default terrain that's being used. Of course you can change this uh, if you have more than one terrain but if I just click on it it'll find the terrain, it'll automatically snap to the terrain and so the Y values will uh, not be available because it's trying to snap to the terrain all the time. Of course, if I turn off Follow Terrain, I can then go back up in the Y, put it anywhere I want, hit uh, Follow Terrain, it'll jump straight down. And just to show that it will find the lowest point on the box, if I just rotate it in this direction, take it up in the Y, hit Follow, it'll always find the lowest point on the object and snap that to the terrain. And so, 
this program allows you to quickly uh, move your objects and position them across the terrain even if it's got hills and so if I increase the height of the terrain in this area and then we click back onto the robot here you'll see that it's following the terrain and still snapping to the X and Z axes at the same time so it's a great way to position objects on any type of terrain the program also allows you to change the settings here you can change the grid size at the moment it's set to 60 which is 30 in each direction and it's got a little setting here for enable audio if you want audible clicks when moving uh, quick transform the colors for the different planes as well as the text label here which I'll also quickly explain um, the first three values are the world coordinates of the object and the last three when you're in translate are the offset from the center position of the grid so if the grid is locked the last three values will show you how far away from the grid you have moved from the center of the grid at any time you can save these settings to file and load previously saved settings or click on load defaults to reset the program you also have a help, help page here which uh, includes frequently asked questions, tutorial videos and some system information as well so with all these features I'm sure that it'll help you to speed up your development times make working with objects on a grid basis much faster I'd like I'd like to say thank you to Aquarius Max on the Asset Store for letting me use his modular kits here. I'll place a link in the description below so that you can find his many great assets. And I thank you for watching. Bye for now.